Hey, it's Clay Trader for BullWarriorStocks.com. This will be a video chart on ticker symbol MRIB. We will take a look at the daily time frame. I've done this one quite a few times. I don't remember the last time I did it, but if you follow my uh, blog and videos, you know that uh, I've, I've been uh, tracking this one for a while. And being Friday, I've had some questions come in on it, and it's, it's been a couple weeks, I think, since I did it. So I just want to get things updated as the chart's still reacting, and I shouldn't say reacting, but it's acting uh, bullishly, and hopefully it'll react uh, even more bullish in the future, uh, given the way that it's been holding above this key level of support. And what is this key level of support? Right here, this purple line is the 50-day cent moving average, and I'm not going to count them, but you can see multiple times the bears have tried to press uh, push the price down below and the bulls have just had none of it uh, most recent was yesterday you can see uh, bulls came right down in there but by the time the closing bell rang uh, the price had uh, gotten pushed all the way back up there and then today very nice uh, green day almost a, a repeat of yesterday meaning you know the bears pushed the price down didn't qu go quite as low but then uh, by the time the closing bell came around the bulls fought all the way back and not only got it back to even like it was yesterday but pushed above and closed green on the day so uh, some just uh, interesting price action and good to see that every time the price drops down into this area uh, you know it seems to get pushed right back up so uh, on that note like I said uh, 0 0.0111 1 looks like so 0 0.0 and then three ones is going to be the key level of support right now again that's because that is the 50 day cent moving average if you were to ask me what would make the chart look the absolute strongest support wise my answer would be if it can hold above uh, this support level here at 0.0126 that would be the ideal situation. Again, it's not a must hold, but if it can hold above 0, uh, what did I say this was, 0. 0.0126, then that'll make the chart look that much stronger. Now, in terms of resistance levels, the one that's sticking out to me, I think, is kind of the uh, ignition one, where if the price can push up above uh, 0. 0.0157, then that's where uh, the price has a, a good uh, potential to get moving. Now, of course, that's going to be a function of volume too. If it pushes through here on very light volume, then you know, you'll have to be careful. But if the volume is surging and it can get up through there, uh, then there might be a little uh, hiccup at 0.0165. But get through there. So I guess I should probably note that. So we have a little resistance zone between 0.0157 and uh, 0.0165. But after that resistance zone, you can see uh, things really start to clear out and there's really nothing until you know up in this area here in the you know 0.023 range uh, so some nice potential here for a breakout and run so that is where the chart currently stands uh, and that's all i have for it what i would like to do now is direct your attention down here this is my private trading group and if you haven't checked it out or heard about it yet it's, it's still relatively new i'd encourage you to look into it what it is is just a group of traders from beginners all the way up to advanced traders and it's a, a good little environment to learn in or if you're an advanced trader i send out weekly trade ideas so it's a a good way to get some additional thoughts to whatever your uh, trade ideas for the week are so it's been getting good reviews you don't have to take my word for it up here you can click and read about the testimonials and see what other members who've already signed up are saying and that way you can get a, a good third party view on things so again this was mrib or mrib uh, can you tell it's been a long week uh, thanks for listening and have a good weekend